one of the main reasons why most of society does not understand our monetary system is because it's confusing and they designed it that way. As I've always said, the system isn't broken, it's designed that way. So we're going into this bull run. Obviously, I'm a big fan of crypto. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. But I want to explain how our monetary system works. And then you'll understand, hey, maybe I should look into specifically Bitcoin. Just start with Bitcoin. Then that will give you a pathway into the other cryptocurrencies. We call them protocols. And how there, there's about four different categories, four types of, of protocols. But I want to go through the monetary system and how money is created. It's quite fascinating. Obviously, it sucks. But this is what's called the Mandrake Mechanism. The Federal Reserve is a cartel and has been fucking the citizens and the world to keep us in a hamster wheel. The Federal Reserve writes a check to Congress for government bonds. Those government bonds, actually, we didn't pay for, technically. This is with fiat money. Where did they get that money? Literally out of thin air. I put poop here. It's poop. It's literally out of thin air. Congress then now has money from the check written by the Federal Reserve to go and spend it. Wars, social infrastructure, when you hear government spending, that's where it is. That money that was paid for government bonds now gets turned into what they call reserves. It's the same thing. These reserves are then given to the banks so then the banks can loan out to businesses, individuals, fractional reserving by law. They only have to keep 10% for every $1 they can fraction out $9. They can lend out $9. So give them $100. That money legally is not yours in the bank. They can then take 90 of that and go lend it out. And it just happens over and over. What is the final solution? Collecting interest. Collecting interest. Taxes is essentially interest. And the mother of it all is inflation. Inflation is the true hidden tax. One of the most influential books in my life is The Creature from Jekyll Island. Why I'm so bullish on cryptocurrencies. Yes, there are other bank coins and everything, but at minimum, start with Bitcoin to understand a deflationary asset. When, you, when money is literally printed, it's really an accounting change out of nothing to when debt, when debt is created for money, that's how they make money is from debt, is when you look at Bitcoin as a deflationary asset, start with that, then you can go look at other protocols. But the bottom line, this is centralized, run by a cartel, and it causes inflation. And this is what we're seeing now. And the little guy that just spends money on food, commodities, and doesn't have investable assets, they get hurt. If this helped you, would love to hear any questions or comments. Also, follow for more information.